Hey guys, I'm IPD Pro John Chua, and today I'm going to go over a program just for your thinking about your program throughout the whole year and then breaking it down even further and get closer into what we're doing daily. A lot of times in our, in our program, we look at screen training planning, we look at meso cycles, macro cycles, and micro cycles. So, your macro cycles looking at what you're going to be doing for the whole year, your meso cycles looking more weekly to monthly, then micro cycles looking daily at what we're doing. So that's how I plan my programming. That's how you should be looking at your programming too. Looking at the big picture, what you're planning on doing for the weeks ahead, and then zoning into daily. So what I laid out here, what I'm, we're going to plan for today, is moving from your like a dieting phase when your recovery is not optimal, into moving to a phase where we're increasing calories, supplementations in place. We're going to have really good recovery, so we can increase training volume. And how do we do that? And how do we spread it out over the weeks to where we have a progressive plan? So what I have laid out here is my, my five-day split that I've been doing, which uh, day one, chest and tries, day two, back and delts, and then I have a leg and back day, an off day, chest and shoulders, and back and biceps, and then off day. So there's two off days within the split to help me with recovery. And my training volume's not that high. So what I would recommend doing if you have a set um, split that you're already doing is look at each muscle group and count how many works that you're doing. And for work sets, I would use sets that you're actually putting in all-out effort, not counting warm-up sets. So for me, my total volume was 16 sets for chest, 20 sets for back, 14 sets on legs. So legs, you could break that down further into what you're putting for quads, hamstrings, or glutes. Um, I do that for my female clients, as we can spread it out just, just for how many sets you're doing for glutes and hams, that we can get more specific, more you know, implementing volume. And then arms and calves, six sets. So I think we're moving into a phase where we're working and increasing calories. You want to have more volume. You can't just increase volume with everything. Um, for one, we don't have enough time in the day. And also, we need to think about recovery and overtraining too still. But for areas that, for instance, for reading for what I want to improve is on chest, back. And I, I'm going to bring legs up some, but not as much as chest and back. So that's where I'm going to increase my volume. Now, what I'm going to do is for week one through four, I'm going to add in eight sets. So I'm really increasing volume high on chest. I'm going to go up uh, to 24 sets and 24 sets for back. For legs, we're going to go up to 20 sets. Shoulders, it's going to be the same. Arms the same. Calves, eight sets. So these are some constants, and also you have, have consideration that when increasing volume within chest and back, you're also going to have more um, your arm or secondary movers, so they're still going to have volume increases through that as well. <clears throat> then for week five and eight, once we started acclimating to that volume, we can increase a little bit further. We're going to go 26, 26 sets, 22. We're going to still keep this the same, and then 10 sets. So we're waving, increasing volume, and still throughout this, we're trying to increase weight and reps as, as, we, as we can. So for week 9 to 12, we're going to add in intensity techniques. So the 24 sets, it's going to be the same as week 1 through 4, but 4 of these 24 sets will be intensity techniques like it could be rest pause sets, drop sets, um, force reps, partials, things like that. And so that will be the plan. Now, now throughout this, this you have to make changes according to how you're progressing and what your recovery is. So if you can't recover from this initial volume that you started with, you should have started lower to begin with, and then it go up from there. Um, you don't have to go up from there, and maybe even adding in four intensity techniques might be way too much. Maybe stick with two. So there has to be some um, you know, individual you know, um, changes based on how, you're, how you feel. So now we can take this and put it into our split. So I'm gonna go, instead of five day, a six day split, I'm gonna only have one off day. I'm still gonna keep it on my day seven. But what I'm gonna do is things that I believe in that are important are uh, training frequency for muscle groups we're trying to bring up, and also rotating between various rep ranges for the adaptations that, that occur within those. So what I'm gonna do for day one is chest and back. Day three, chest and back. Day five, chest and back. Then we're going to have quad day. 
put calves in that day. Um, day four is going to be this this little touch up on these so shoulders and arms. And then we're going to have hands and calves. And then I would take this volume, so say we're going to use chest, for example, 24 sets and divide it into those three days. So we can do eight sets on each one of those days. We're going to do eight sets for back. Same with legs. 20 sets, divide 10 into your quad day, 10 into your ham day. Now, for rotating between rep ranges, so for the chest and back day, we do six to eight reps. This one, 10 to 12. And then on this one, 15 reps. Okay. Now, weekly, we're going to rotate through those rep ranges. So week one and week two, those can stay the same. What's going to be different is for week one on quads and calves, we do six to eight. Swirls and arms, we can do six to eight. And hands and calves, we can let this be the higher rep leg day and keep that 12 to 15. So that's week one. Week two, we can rotate back to the high rep days for these days that we haven't rotated yet. So that can be our 12 to 15. This is going to be the same. This is going to be the same. Shoulders and arms, we haven't hit a high rep day yet. So this is going to be 12 to 15 reps. Chest and back is the same. Then, then we're going to train. We're going to train hands and calves heavy on this day, so six to eight. So that's week one, week two, week three and four. We're just going to repeat that, and then we're going to go to a week five and eight. Where we're adding volume. Week nine to twelve, we're decreased volume, but we're adding in intensity techniques. So that's the idea of how I look at programming. When you're looking for going into like from a dieting phase to a phase where you have optimal recovery and you're trying to bring up muscle groups. And you can use this for a variety of phases throughout your macro cycle and the, the whole yearly process. Transitioning off of this, might, may, you might be going into a maintenance phase where you need to pull back volume a little bit. Um, maybe you're going into a dieting phase after that where you might have to go back to somewhere between what you were initially handling. Maybe you, you can still handle more than the 16 sets, but you could go to like 20 sets or chest. So it's, it's always up to you and seeing what you can tolerate. But uh, I think this will give you a great design on how to build your programs and how to look at volume. So until next time, guys, follow my journey on the animalpack.com, through the journey side on the forum. Look at Instagram. I post up my workouts. Ask me any question you have on this.